We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloop Cast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right. How are you doing today, Jared? No complaints, no complaints, no complaints. Let me actually hit send on that. Because now it's looking weird. There, now it looks better. All right. Kyle, this is Collegiate Chaos. This is the National Scope episode for the week that just happened. Where's my barbecue, Jared? Um, uh, Grubhub. Grubhub. Uh, for the week that just happened. Um, we didn't have a lot of chaos this week. I used DoorDash, sir. Whatever. I, I'm... I will look, I will, I will get on the th like three or four separate ones that there are and just to see which one's giving me the better deal because it weirdly varies by restaurant, the prices, the same damn restaurant will be different prices on each place and it's weird. Um, we don't need to talk about any of that right now. Um, we're talking about the week of college football that just happened or actually is currently happening for us. As we record this, uh, USC and LSU just went into a uh, halftime game tied. So we don't know who won that game yet. But Kyle, let's uh, is Texas back. Yeah, I'm, I mean, we, we told you if you watch any of our episodes, any of our nationally focused episodes from the past uh summer we told you texas was going to be really good this year mm -hmm. yeah and where do you want to start where do you want to start here jared um let's start let's let's do let's do a quick texas? let's do a quick personal recap um All right. we don't know the outcome of the lsu usc game yet but it is tied at halftime as we're recording this <laughs> so right now between the guest picker, Kyle and me, we are all three and three on our sloop picks. Uh, I have USC. Kyle and the guest pickers uh, have LSU. So I'm either coming in first or last. That's how that's going to go for me. Uh, chaos theory. Uh, Miami did not win. Miami did not win. And West Virginia did not win. Or rather, Miami didn't lose. Miami didn't lose. Miami didn't lose. Penn State didn't lose. That's how I'm supposed to say that. So there it no, is. no scores. No scores on chaos theory for this week. Really, there was only one <laughs> last. There was only one. If we count week zero, there was only one like true chaos scenario. Yeah. If we count week yeah, zero, the, Florida zero. State lost yeah, the, to Georgia yeah, there Tech. Was zero. Yeah, there was zero. So there was you couldn't get any points at all this week. Right. Because that was obviously not on the menu when we recorded that episode because mm -hmm. the game had already happened. Yeah. So there were no all points right. to gain. All right. So I, I guess we're going to go. Is ND our... chaos since they were technically the underdog? No, they were ranked higher. But for. For the sake of chaos theory, for the sake of the game chaos theory, you have to pick a team that is not ranked to beat a team that is ranked. For the sake of that, that is how that game works. That's that's just how that game works. But SEC, Jared. Yeah. I have a really hot take regarding the tier list. All right. Well, let's get into the tier list. Um, All right. We have Ohio State, Oregon, Texas, Georgia as our favorites to win it all. Um, Kyle, Georgia poured it on in the second half to defeat Clemson pretty handedly, but Clemson looked pretty good, or at least Georgia Clemson was very competitive through the first half. Defensively. I will give Clemson has, has a good defense. Offense That's fair. is still... Yeah, Clemson's offense is still hot garbage. Like th that has not that has not been fixed. Slubnik is super ass bro. I threw the bro on there. If you know, you so, know. I I'd keep I'd keep Georgia. Yeah, I'm, obviously Georgia stays in S tier. Georgia yeah. does not move. Texas. Uh, so 
Texas had one of the few um, truly impressive performances of the week. Uh, now they didn't play anyone all that. I, I okay. Let me let me retrace that. One of the true impressive performances by a major team against a cupcake. Georgia obviously beat Clemson, a ranked team that was truly impressive. Notre yeah. Dame beat a ranked team that's I, truly impressive. Will, yeah, it's te- te- Texas beat Colorado State fifty-two to nothing. But I mean, yeah. you, you got to say you got to say the same thing to Alabama, doing the same thing to Western Kentucky sixty-three to nothing. That's fair. Yeah. That's totally fair. I mean, Ohio State, technically, if you look at like 52 to nothing versus 52 to six, it's only six points difference, but the game just looked different. Texas yeah. did what we wanted Ohio State to do against Akron. Um, that being said, I'm not I, I don't personally I'm not. OK, everyone right hand again. I will not overreact to week one. Repeat after me. I will not overreact to week one. All right. I'm not going to punish. I'm not going to downgrade either Ohio State, who just poured it on in the second half. That's totally typical in week one. Who cares? Now, Oregon, we could have a conversation about. Uh, Idaho was in that game late. Oregon is your take. I, I'm not surprised by that. You know, Oregon out Notre Dame. I would take, I, I'm just, I, would put, I just, yeah, I would take, yeah, I understand Jared. Like I will not, I will not blah, blah, blah. Week one, yada, yada, overreact. Yeah. Yeah. But, but we grade this on a week by week basis though. And so I, I, I only have one week to, to look at, how these teams are doing and all that too. Oregon should have smashed Idaho yeah. to the ground and yep. they did it. Yeah, sir. And they did not So yeah. I, I would honestly maybe flip Oregon and maybe Alabama around. Notre Dame got the big win. Uh, I mean, they got the out, outside of Georgia. And outside of the Notre uh, Dame, yep, Notre Dame would be would be uh, would be if we're gonna take out there as well. If we're gonna take out Oregon, and by the way, we don't have to take out Oregon. We're not locked into four spots. That that's last year's tier list. We don't have to remove Oregon. Just saying that. But there's there's going to be three big winners of the weekend. Georgia, Notre Dame, and whoever ends up winning the USC LSU game, which is that still at halftime? Someone in the yeah. chat with a, with a, with a, so one of those two teams um, will retroactively move them off of, you know, when we're not recording, we'll retroactively move the winner of that game up into a tier at least. So we, we have to, We have to get out of the mindset. Last year's rules said four teams in S tier. This year's rules just means we have to have 12 teams combined between S tier and A tier. We do not have to remove Oregon Mm. from S tier to make room for Notre Dame. If we want to move Notre Dame up, I am all for that. Let's do that. As a matter of fact. All right, fine. Move, Move Notre Dame up, but we are... Yeah, so I'm I'm okay with I'm okay with that there, um, and and I'd be fine moving Oregon down as well. But I'm I'm also fine with Oregon staying in S tier, as well. I don't want to we'll react. We'll see how, they, we'll see how they do next year, but I would. Yeah, that that was my argument, Austin. Move swap Alabama and Oregon for this week here. Alabama looked everything that. Um, Alabama should be doing new coach. No problem. 63, nothing. All right. Statement there. But I, I listen, I, I, I disagree with the moving of Oregon down, but I will, this is a team effort. I personally disagree, but team effort. Um, All right. All right. Looking at the, so our S tier Alabama, 
Ohio State, Texas, Georgia, Notre Dame in no particular order is our S tier. A tier, we moved Oregon yeah, down to A tier. No particular orders within yeah. the tiers. We, we moved Oregon down to A tier. I get A tier is playoff teams, teams that we expect to make the playoffs or project to make the playoffs here. So Kyle, Oregon, I know. Penn, I know Penn State, Penn State looked uh, really well. I was honestly really surprised on how well Penn State looked against West Virginia. I thought Penn State would have looked um, almost like Ohio State in that first half where they <laughs> were going to struggle against West Virginia. There was a long weather delay. I would have thought maybe that might have had something to do, might have uh, In theory, that benefits too, West Virginia. But... but yeah, no, Penn State, no issues. 34-12, yeah. Uh, a solid, solid A tier for, for Penn State for me. I would move Miami into A tier. We have to move Miami into A tier. We don't have a choice. We do. Yes, We don't have a choice. We need an ACC representative in there, and it's not Florida State. And it's not Florida State. Florida State would still stay as a playoff bubble. Because, and it's I mean, not Clemson. And it's not Clemson. So, I mean, we we literally yeah. have to move Miami up. We don't even get a choice there. Also, I need to Which replace I, that logo with the. Uh, uh, oh, what's it called? The bird. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I like their retro um, logo it's, better. It's um, Sebastian. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I was thinking Sebastian, the. What kind of bird is he? Doesn't matter. We move forward. The. These things He's don't matter. That's, that's, ibis. that's right. The Ibis. On that note, Georgia Tech into B tier. Um, did Georgia Tech play again this weekend or did they take this weekend off? I thought they played, right? They won 35 to 12. I mean, hell yeah. Why not? Against Georgia State. Not impressive, but I mean, they beat Florida State. I think they've, listen, I think they earned it. The bar's not that high to get into B tier right now. Okay, I, right, I'm fine with that. Let, let's back up. Let's 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 stay with the A tier. Let's right. let's look at all let's of these down. here. So let's slow down. My, Miami Miami's fine. I'm good moving Miami up to the A tier. Utah, <laughs> like I said, Kyle, uh, we have to. Yeah, I I understand. Utah, I'm trying to find um, Utah here. I, I know I thought yeah, forty nine nothing did what they need to. They stay there. Ole Miss looked really good again, again, against Bad Furman. They should, they should have, but 76, nothing shut out. Stay where they're at. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think Missouri did the same thing with Murray state 51, nothing. That's, that's fine as well too. Now we, we do, we do need to find that. Um, non I convince you four. to move Arizona into a tier. I mean, you. Liberty, we are having the conversation the other, at this point, Austin, of who we take out. That yeah, Liberty, there has Liberty to be beat. exactly twelve teams in S and A. Missouri, Liberty, Liberty won forty-one to twenty-four. I, I can't move them. I can't move them away because I don't. I don't know of another team that, um, is deserving to to be re replace them. Um. Boise State didn't look all that great. They won fifty six to forty five against Georgia Southern. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't replace Liberty with Boise State. So, I think for I think how we have this list here for S and A tier, I think is good after week one here. Maybe we should move Idaho in there. I'm kidding. No. I'm kidding. 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 Um. So again, again, to recap for those that's not seeing the graph. I know it's have, a joke, Austin. We have Alabama, Ohio State, Texas, Georgia, Notre Dame as S tier favorites to win it all. And then A tier um, that are projected also to make the playoffs is Penn State, Miami, uh, I, Oregon, Utah, Ole Miss, Missouri, and Liberty. Can we replace Liberty? We just it's, threw Liberty it, in there as a, oh crap, we forgot we had to include a, a group of five in there. How did they do this weekend? We, we literally I, just I, threw I them just, in there because said, we Jared, forgot. They, they, beat, they beat Campbell 41-24. They give up 24 points to Campbell? Mm-hmm. 
And what did Boise Eli do? Campbell. They beat uh, Georgia Southern 56 to 45. I mean, at least Georgia Southern's a FBS team. I, I just, I, I can't swap them based on, on week one here. So, okay. But we really, we, we yes, should, we have to Jared, we have to. No, what I'm saying is, is that we shouldn't treat that spot like it's liberties to be taken. We just gave it to them because when we made this chart, we forgot that we needed an FBS team. And then we just threw Liberty in there like. But they didn't beat Michigan. That's that's the thing, Austin. I'm not going to put a team that lost in there. I'm just listen, I'm just saying. There has to be a better option. There has to be a better group of five option, and I'm willing to take suggestions. There's not. See you, bitch. We'll let, we'll let others think about it. We're going to go ahead and take a quick ad break here. So, um, if you want to, if you want to avoid these ad breaks, head on over to thesluecast.com where you can find our um, Patreon page, uh, patreon.thesluecast.com to avoid these ad breaks. So we'll go ahead and take a quick break and be right back. And we're back. Kyle. All right. We're going to quickly have to go through the rest of these teams here, Jared. So, <laughs> I mean, we only have to talk about the teams that matter there, right? We don't have to talk um, about every team. Um, sure. So we can talk about move Michigan B tier. Down. Michigan looked bad against Fresno. Yeah. Bubble team. They do not look like a bubble team after week one. They do not. Uh, I'm not going to bump them down. Wait, can you put coastal where Liberty is? Uh, I let's let's hear. Let's. They beat the conference favorite Jack State. By like 20. Is this coastal Carolina? Is that who we're talking about? 55 to 24. Yeah, fuck it. I, I I don't have I really don't have a high bar for the for the fifth auto bid. Quite frankly, we'll throw Coastal Carolina in there. It's it's a placeholder. I'm fine with it. I'm doing it. So you don't want to move Michigan down after the no, Kyle. They're going to the final score. I know the final score looks bigger than it was, but it, it was it really close in the fourth quarter. It, I guess it, Fresno State. One, Fresno State isn't like terrible. Two, Michigan's about to get waxed against Texas next week anyway. So let's just, well, let's just hold off. Right, fine. Let's just hold off. NC State fine. needs to drop down too. Um, NC State, Kyle, not a not a great showing this week. It's not. It's not. But. They're in the ACC and they're they should be a playoff bubble. That's that's a valid point. That's a hyper valid point. They almost lost to an FCS team. Yeah, but they're in the ACC, which is a, a valid point to be made right now. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very literally on the playoff bubble because they're in the ACC. I mean, Oregon almost lost to an FCS school. We're not bumping them down to C tier. Yeah, uh, it's not fair to compare Oregon to, to NC State. I uh, acknowledged. Mm -hmm. All right, no, but see. we did looking drop them the, down. We did. Yeah, look, looking at these here, Nebraska. How, how did Nebraska do? I know, I know they won. I just, I just forget who they played. Who did they play, Jared? Do you remember? Nebraska, no one of importance. Okay. Iowa State. Iowa State is where they're at. Kansas but they, but they looked good for the record. Like they did the thing that they were for, supposed to do. Actually score touchdowns. Yes. Rayola <laughs> looked good. Um, uh, West Virginia. You want to bump West Virginia down to C? After they did not look 
really competitive at all at home. I, I understand it's Penn State, and Penn State's one of the uh, best teams, but they, they were not competitive at all at home. I mean, I'm going to say yes, but I, I will say much like NC State, where we say, yeah, but it's the ACC and it's still pretty wide open. Yeah, but it's the Big 12 and the Big 12. I, I think the Big 12, weirdly, is going to be more competitive this year. That's not to say that they're as good up top as the ACC, but they're much, much better in the middle than the ACC. Uh, we don't, Austin, because West Virginia lost. Um, Kyle, Austin's going to have Austin in the chat is going to have an aneurysm if we don't drop NC State. You are a resident NC State defender. Um, I didn't watch. I didn't watch this weekend, so I can't. I can't tell you. <laughs> I, just, I just see the final score is thirty-eight to twenty-one against Western Carolina. Which is it, it doesn't look good. It doesn't which look which I good do on believe, a, Kyle. That point, and you live you live in North Carolina. I do. Your comment in the Discord this weekend it was, um, not not a direct quote, but an indirect quote. I've never heard of them. Yeah, that that is true. Yes. Okay. I I do now know of them in where they're at since then, but so Kyle, I'm I'm letting you make the decision. Do we drop NC State out of the playoff bubble? They're they're on the hot they're on the hot seat. Another 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 um bad week and they they get dropped down. They're they're on they're on the hot seat. <laughs> Austin called you a homer. That's um, fine, whatever. Um, Kansas stays. Um, I'm just I'm just looking at the the rest of the teams that that we have up there. Oklahoma State. Looked okay against uh, South Dakota State, which I'd South say they Dakota actually State looked. I'd say they actually looked pretty good against South Dakota State because South Dakota State, mm. despite being a FCS team, is a yeah, they're, they're damn one good of the best. FCS team. Yep, they're one of the best. I, listen, Arizona, I'm just saying, if I'm Arizona, Oregon State and and Washington State, I'd be calling up those Dakota teams and seeing if they'd be interested in making a jump. Arizona beat New Mexico 61 to 39. A 100 point game, a 100 point game there. Yeah. Arizona but, State's a fun I, team. I, I, I don't know if they're a good team, but Arizona's a fun yeah. team. Yeah. They're, they're going to score a bunch of points. They're, gonna, they're, they're, they're fitting into the Big 12 already, scoring a lot, letting up a lot. Uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, similar to like Ohio State versus. Akron beat up Temple 51 to three. Very similar. They stay there. Now, Clemson, I I still think you got to keep Clemson in a playoff bubble just because, yeah, yeah. because ACC. Yeah, because ACC. And listen, they didn't look all that bad, especially through the first half. If you're looking at the defense, sure. Yeah, I am. Texas A&M. Lost Texas A&M goes down. I, I say there. Texas A&M is a goes down to C. OK, I mean, look, they I thought they, I, I don't even have to hes hesitate for that. Are you being biased? No, because I'm they don't being biased. No, they lost to Notre Dame, who's a top 10 team. And they didn't look okay. bad doing it like they didn't like they weren't impressive by any means, but. Uh, they didn't get blown but out. Here, here, but here, here's the problem. Look how many other SEC teams are ahead of them. They, they, they're not. Go, okay. Yeah. They're not going to be. Yeah. They're not. A this is the opposite of the based, ACC rule. Yeah. Based, yeah, based on fair. the number of other teams that look better than them yeah. right now. Yeah. They, they, yeah, they go no, down right. to the C tier. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Boise, I guess, can stay there. Liberty is there since you move Liberty and Coastal Carolina there and florida state like the acc argument has to stay in the playoff bubble there. now i will say this florida state plays a game monday night that the listeners will know the result of that we do not know the result of so we're we move them down to b tier because of their loss to georgia tech we don't know the result of the monday night game i'm just throwing that out there 
If they lose, they'll be the first team in M tier. What an honor. Yeah, 100 yeah. percent. Florida State is either staying in B or they're moving down to M. 100 percent. 100 percent. All right. Is there I'm not going to go through all I'm not going to go through all of the teams that's down in um down no. in C tier, but any that you want to move up or even down Northwestern one. <laughs> yeah, they did. They beat the Red Hawks 13 to six. How's that? How, no, 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 Jared. Colorado right. escaped, escaped with a win against North Dakota State. <laughs> no. And by the way, Austin, you get the same level of nose you just gave Austin or you just gave Kyle for suggesting Vandy. Like, have you seen the SEC? Vandy's not getting anywhere near the playoffs. Mine was a joke. I, I think I mean, Kyle's was too. I mean, if Vandy should be, I mean, South Carolina should too with their with their big win over Old Dominion. No. Genuine question, Syracuse. 23 to 19. Just <laughs> FYI. They've got a good quarterback. Uh, sure. Sure they do. Um, what about UCL UCLA beating Hawaii, though? Scoring 16, time 16 unanswered points there to win the game. <laughs> and he's won me a sloop pick by not being good. Uh you know, they were time lagged and I was told for, by, by Florida State fans on the Internet that being time lagged is a huge disadvantage, uh, despite the fact that Georgia Tech had the same time lag. So I'm not really following the logic, yeah. but UCLA was time lagged. Huge win for UCLA. I'm kidding. Um, this is all this is all a roundabout way to make yeah, fun no of Florida State fans. I don't see really anybody that got embarrassed, like, like outright embarrassed over the weekend. That's in C tiers. So, well, did anyone do anything everybody. impressive? Um, yeah, yeah. No, no one's going to M tier after week one. Well, unless it's Florida State, but we don't know the outcome of that game yet. Um, nope. Uh, a a a stat here, Jared. Uh, yeah. I want to let you know because they are your golden gophers. They're not my golden gophers. They are the I currently. Not, we, we, I do we, not. we don't know how the USC LSU game is, but yeah, currently, yeah. as as we are recording, Jared. Yeah, yeah. The golden gophers are the sole Big Ten team that ha did not win over the weekend. Wow. Wow. And are the Tar Heels the sole ACC team that did? I'm kidding. I know Miami won. We already talked about it. It's a joke. But man, the ACC. Hey, Zeus. Virginia Tech. Clemson. Florida State. And Stanford. The almost, almost confident, almost competent conference. Oh, yeah. Let's let's count Stanford as a team that was definitely going to do things in the ACC this year. <laughs> Good Lord, sitting ACC, on, what are y'all doing? Sitting on top of the ACC is Georgia Tech and SMU at 2-0. and And this is why... No. Uh, no. <laughs> Georgia Tech could win. Let's, let's keep an eye on Georgia Tech. I, I, I still don't believe in Miami. I know they looked good. I like their quarterback. But I Speaking just don't Austin, ever you're, believe you're, in Miami. We might be moving Georgia Tech up into A tier soon. That's all I'm saying. We'll see. Well, speaking of uh, uh, Syracuse, uh, Syracuse does play Georgia Tech next weekend here. Hmm. Speaking of Syracuse, uh, we need to take an ad break. You go. You guys go ahead and figure out what that was. It may have been nothing, but we have to do a quick ad break. So with uh, 
you know what? No, this is the quick ad break. This is the second ad breaks, quick ad break. So uh, the sloopcast.com, patreon.thesloopcast.com, discord.thesloopcast.com. Here's that ad break now. Kyle, if you don't understand the Syracuse transition to the ad break, then I don't know how to help you. That's fine. Now, the reason you I can't help you is because there there is no logic behind it whatsoever. So I literally can't help you. I can't explain whatever the hell that was. That's it. That That's the entire thing. All right. Kyle, any other games that stood out to you this weekend? Is is Michigan as bad as we think they are? Yeah, they there, there's a lot of teams that did not look good that we thought should have looked good. Oregon, um, of course, we didn't think I mean, Michigan Oregon was didn't look, look good. good. Michigan, Michigan, we, Kyle, we've been bad. calling the downfall of Michigan since February. So mm-hmm. let's not Michigan. Michigan State beat Florida Atlantic sixteen to ten. I joked about Northwestern earlier, but they beat the Miami mm-hmm. Redhawks by a grand total of seven points. Yeah. But, but I, th- I think this is, I think we've talked about Wisconsin earlier um, a few episodes ago. I think Wisconsin might have a, be a down year this year. And, yeah. uh, and they beat, they beat, they beat Western Michigan 28 to 14, but. With, for anyone playing at home, that's who Ohio State plays next week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and, and I think UCLA is going to challenge Northwestern as the worst team in the, in no. the Big Ten. No. <laughs> Listen, I don't like UCLA this year. Let's be very clear. I do not like UCLA this year. But Kyle, Indiana, Northwestern, Purdue... I don't think they're worse than any of those teams. All right. No way. No. Northwestern isn't even playing in front. Northwestern's rerunning 2020 right now. A good chunk of their home games will be played in front of nobody. Yeah, this is true. Like, yeah, I, I'm looking, I'm looking at the other games. I don't, yeah, I don't really see anything else that stood out as, um, as like really interesting. Are you so. saying week two sucks? Oh, uh, let, let's look. Let, let's oh, look at you week meant two. from week one. Yeah, no, there's mostly teams playing cupcakes. I get there was like three big matchups. That's about it. It was it was mostly a cupcake weekend. Let's see. Rutgers plays Akron. That should be well, fun. Kyle, uh, we don't have if you're going to start with Rutgers versus Akron, we don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Michigan and Texas is um, probably the headliner for for the week of week two. Um, scrolling down, oh Austin, Iowa, uh, and I- Iowa, and Iowa State. That's always Austin. A, Austin typ- gave you typically. The, typically, that's a that's a always an entertaining. Read the game. chat. Read the chat, Kyle. Austin. Okay. Austin gave uh, you the cheat sheet for next week. Tennessee, North Carolina State, Boise State, Oregon, Georgia Tech, Syracuse, and Colorado, Nebraska. God, I hope Nebraska just destroys Colorado. Nebraska destroys Colorado. All right. I want to make sure I said that right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The Yeah. I, I'm I'm really looking forward to Texas, Michigan. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm really looking forward to to Texas, Michigan. I I think Michigan's actually going to Michigan might run with them for a minute because I do really like Michigan's defense, but only like 12 or 13 players of Michigan's defense. So I think Michigan can keep it close through sheer defensive will for a while, but I believe their offense is going to be so anemic that the defense, which again is not very deep, it's they have a really good starting crew, but they don't have a lot of depth behind them. So I think, I, I think Texas will surprise some people by letting Michigan stick around for a while, because I really don't know if people appreciate how good the Michigan starting defense is. 
But the offense is going to go three and out a bunch, kick it right back to Texas, and Michigan's defense is just going to wear out. Austin, I would be shocked if Michigan puts up 10 against Texas. I'd be shocked. I, I I don't I don't see Michigan scoring into double digits. I don't see it. Their offense is horrendous. Texas has a a lot of really good talent on defense. I don't see Michigan scoring points. I I I would venture to say a shutout is possible. What do you think? What do you think the early Vegas lines are for for that game? Texas nine and a half. Minus nine and a half, obviously. It's looking like, like on average, Texas three and a half. Bullshit. God damn, I might be breaking my no gambling rule for that. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way. That's that's stupid. That's utterly stupid. Oh, I might have to find some spare cash. That's utterly stupid. Texas is going to win that game by at least 20 points. Yes. Smash indeed. <laughs> that's that's right. absolutely ludicrous. Gosh. <laughs> That's I think that I think, I, I think that early early okay. scoring early scoring prediction Texas 34 Michigan 6 I know rule 2 exists but that's free fucking money man <laughs> Ah nah no 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 Texas is winning that game by 20 easy. I I understand. I wonder, I understand that it's in the, um, it's in Michigan, but geez, I don't care. I really don't care. 40, 48 and a half points total. I don't, no way. There's just 48 points total. So they're predicting Michigan's going to score over 20. Ain't, no fucking way. Well, and here I think this one's more realistic. So it opened. Here's another another one here, Jared. It opened up at three and a half. This one says it's now at seven <laughs> because people were hitting that immediately. Yeah, I I'd, I would say early on. I would say. No way Michigan scoring over 20 points in that game. I would be, 30, I, I already 31. told Austin, I thought 13 was crazy or did he say 10? Yeah. Either way, I think it's crazy. Yeah. I'd no say, way. I'd say 30, 31, 31, 6, 31, 10, something like that. I mean, yeah, I, I don't see him scoring 10 points. Unless there's some bullshit points at the end, which of course happens, you know, yeah. that happens, but no, nah, that's dumb. Don't got everyone. Don't real life gamble. Don't, don't, don't spend any money based off of anything I said here. Don't gamble anything. You're not willing to lose all. This is not financial advice. Um, all the other things I'm supposed to say to legally cover my ass, but holy shit, are you kidding me? Three and a half points. This is not financial advice. Legally, uh, legal notice. This is not gambling advice. This is not, this is not financial advice, but holy shit. <laughs> Kyle, I, I, listen, Kyle, I need to end this episode because I have to go yes. do something. Yes, um, do it and end, end the episode, Jerry. I, I, I need to end this episode. I need to go do something. Let's not talk about what that something is, but I need to go do something real quick. So I need to end this episode. <laughs> Zach, don't say the quiet part out loud. Uh, Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner? I'll, I'll just do one. I'll just do one more. Uh, 
odds here er, early on, Jared, and this may stay the same or, or not. Ohio State favored at 37 and a half over Western Michigan. Okay. That seems plausible. Okay. Swallow the points on that. Um, yeah. I, nothing- I, you, I mean, I'm surprised they got as close to 50 as they did. Yeah. Uh, somebody, somebody said this. I, I, I really don't have anything else in the, um, um, uh, in Kyle's corner here. So I'm just going to try to find it, find whatever was Kyle, in here. So I'm, I need to not, ransom, I need ransom, to go not bet on that game. Can ran, ransom ransom wins def- is, was the Ohio state defensive player of the game. And Will Howard was the offensive player of the game. And I believe I saw Ennis was the special teams. Uh, yeah. None of those are shocks. Although All I right. kind of like, I feel like I'd have gone Jack Sawyer. But regardless, uh, it's it's always statistic based. He got the touchdown. He's going to get the thing. It's, it's how that works. All right. Once again, tonight's ending music will be brought to you by a Ohio-based band called The Wet Darlings. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, watch local podcasters. Once again, these are The Wet Darlings. 